What is life? Different people have different answers. In 1957, Dr. Crick proposed that life is a process. It starts from DNA, and the DNA makes RNA, and RNA makes protein. So this process is called the central dogma in life science. To me, life is a book of four languages. DNA tells the story of all generations. RNA tells the story of living generations. And the protein tells the story of this generation. In addition to that, sugar trees tell the story of this moment. 50% of the proteins are glycosylate. Our cells are covered with sugar trees, like this, conjugated on proteins and lipids. We proposed that the sugar trees on the cells are functioning like the QRs we used in our daily life. For example, we use this widget bar QR for the quick communications. So we named the sugar tree the biological quick recognition science or bar QR. My lab is trying to gain better understandings of sugar trees or bar QRs. Two years ago, a summer student Rebecca joined my lab. We decided to using the Lego-like blocks to build bar QR. So we start our job with glucose. So the, we made our design based based on the chemistry of the of the glucose. So first we give a color to the glucose. So we give it a blue color. And so the glucose is have the six carbon ring and so we have the uh, plate of the civil six carbon ring and so glucose have uh, different groups at the, each corner so this is the design of the of the of the of the groups hydroxyl groups and in addition to that we have the upper view and the down view of the glucose and so this is the down view. So we put a white uh, polygonal ring in there. And the reason for that is because glucose is connect itself with the existing uh, sugar trees or other molecules through the, uh, the chemical bonds. So each chemical bonds they have the, the different positions. It's either up of this ring of this plate or the down of the plate. So the down plate, down of the plate is known as the alpha form. If it's up of the plate, it's known as the beta form. So now we have the alpha form and the beta form. We have the upper view and the down view. So we can connect this glucose to the existing sugar trees. So after we finished the design of the glucose, we did seven more designs. So now we have a collection of eight monosaccharides. So the reason for that is because all the sugar trees are basically built up by these eight basic monosaccharides. So now we have the, you know, with the different uh, bonds, so we can connect them together. So there are billions of possibilities for the bioqrs. Now here is an example of the sugar tree made by 14 monomers, two of the N-acetyl glucosamine at the bottom, nine metals in, in the middle, and three Greek glucose at the end. You can see here one of the glucose at the very end is upside and the so that's the, that's the tree. Now we have the ability to build the, um, to build the sugar trees. Now we ask a question. So what is the function of the sugar trees? Now let's start with a question. So how many QRs 
you used in daily life? To me, the answer is many. So, for example, I need a health cure to get into the school, to get on a bus, to get into a museum, and the and the, and the other things. I also need this widget QR to make new friend. So by screening, we can connect with the new friend very quickly. And we can also, I can also use this bar QR to invite you to visit my lab. And so comparing to the QR, so here let's look at the, what's happened to the bar QR. So I will show three specific examples of the bar QR and their applications. So the first case is the species specific bar QR. So the, the, here are red blood cells. And this is the pig red blood cell, and this is a human red blood cells. They all have the species specific bar QR. So comparing the human red blood cells, the pig red blood cells bar QR have an extra, extra lactose on that. Because of this extra lactose, and the human blood have the antibody against it. So if we transfuse the pig blood into our body, so our body will immediately destroy it, the antibodies. But can we remove this extra galactose to make an artificial human blood? And we try this. So we isolate and AI specifically can do this job. So we treat the pig red blood cells and then remove this lactose and made an artificial artificial human blood. So this is in the process. And the second uh, bowel cure I want to share with you is the blood type specific bowel cure. This is not species specific, it's a type specific. So we know that there are four blood types. A, B, O, and A, B. And it's determined by the bar QRs on our blood cells. So this is the road of the, of the bar QR. And here the A type has a green spot, green, uh, models, green spot in here. And this is the B type. It's a red spot here, right? But for the O type, this is empty. But may, you may not know that there's another rare blood type called the Bombay blood type. And for the, this group of the people, their blood, their bar cure on their blood do not have this fucus in there. Because they don't have this fucus. And so in their blood, their antibodies against the type specific bar QRs. So they cannot receive the blood transfusion from ABO groups because they have an antibodies in there. So for this group of the people, they have facing a, a medical challenge. So if they need surgery, so they can only receive the blood from this group cannot receive from the other group. And now, if, because we understand the situation, the question is, can we make the uh, Bombay blood from the old type of blood, right? So we, we try this, we also uh, isolate an enzyme, and we treat the old type blood cells, and we made the, the Bombay blood type. We can finish this in one hour. And so this work is in the early development stage. And the third type of the bio QR are disease-specific bio QR. So if we have disease-specific bio QR, we can use them for the diagnosis and the treatment as well. So one of the 
uh, disease-specific biocure is the uh, tumor-specific biocure. Three months ago, a group of medical research scientists in China reported that they found a profile of biocure in our blood can be used for the early diagnosis of liver cancer. In this month, a paper published on Nature Communication indicated that comparing to the normal cells, some of the tumor cells, their surface uh, have high density of the sialytic acid. And they also demonstrate that by specifically removing the sialytic acid from the cell surface, so they can destroy the tumor cells. Now, this is the end of my uh, sharing today. So basically, we proposed a, a, a bar-QR. And uh, so the story is, so true or not, let's do it. Because bar-QR is a new direction of biomedical research. At this stage, no matter your professor or student, we are all at the same starting point. So we let's do it and uh, we will see the truth. Thank you. This is the end of my sharing.